U.S. sends F-16 fighter jets to safeguard ships against Iranian seizures in Gulf region. A senior defense official said Friday that the U.S. is boosting its use of fighter jets around the key Strait of Hormuz to safeguard ships against Iranian seizures. That F-16 fighter jets will join A-10 attack aircraft in the Gulf this weekend. Iran attempted to hijack two oil tankers along the strait last week, firing on one. The defense official, who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss military activities in the region, said the F-16s will offer air support to ships in the waterway and raise military visibility to deter Iran. In both cases, Iranian naval warships retreated as the guided missile destroyer USS McFall arrived. The defense source also told reporters the U.S. is exploring several military options to counter Russian aggressiveness in the skies over Syria, which hindered plans to kill an Islamic State group leader last weekend. The official declined to describe the possibilities, but said the U.S. will not lose land and will continue to fly anti-Islamic State missions in the West. The person claimed Moscow, Tehran, and the Syrian regime are cooperating to persuade the U.S. to leave Syria which has intensified Russian military operations since March. The individual said Iran wants the U.S. out of Syria so it can more readily supply lethal help to Lebanese Hezbollah and threaten Israel. The person claimed that mid-level Russian and Iranian Quds force officers in Syria had cooperated, planned, and shared intelligence to pressure the U.S. to withdraw troops from Syria. About 900 U.S. personnel are in the country, and others come and go to fight IS extremists. The U.S. does not expect Russian planes will bomb U.S. troops or shoot down manned aircraft. The official said Moscow fears Russian pilots would shoot down a Reaper drone and that the U.S. will not respond. In March, a Russian warplane spilled jet fuel on a U.S. surveillance drone and hit its propeller, prompting the Pentagon to dump the MQ-9 Reaper into the Black Sea. The incident raised tensions between the countries and prompted a defense chief's call, but no military action was taken. Last week, Russian Reconciliation Center for Syria Chief Rear ADM That Moscow is concerned about U.S.-led coalition drone flights over northern Syria, calling them systematic violations of protocols meant to avert military conflict. For years, U.S. and Russian military commanders have used a deconfliction phone line to avoid accidental conflicts in Syria, where both sides have troops on the ground and in the air. The U.S. official said multiple calls a day might lead to furious threats as commanders dispute about an operation. The official described a conversation in which the Russians often proclaim a space area a restricted operating zone and claim they are conducting military drills there. The U.S. sees no exercises and informs Russia that American soldiers are fighting the Islamic State organization and will fly in that area. Russians claim they can't guarantee U.S. aircraft safety if they fly there. It sometimes gets very heated, the official claimed, as both parties vehemently argue and reject each other's claims. The U.S. had no fighter planes nearby and did not attack the Russian airliner.